So let's go to Green Line, new show that you guys are doing, great concept. Mm -hmm. Why should we be watching it? Um, it's a brand new in South Africa. We've heard about sustainable living from other countries. But here, because we have such a rich biodiversity, sustainable living is even more important to us. Mm -hmm. Look after our environment and, of course, save on your pocket. Well, how far behind are we in terms of I don't think you know, we. I don't think we're far behind. I think South Africa is actually right there. And you know what Michelle and myself also thought is that because of South Africa being a, a country that we still develop, why can't we become the country in the world mm -hmm. living a green life? Yeah. You know, we can do it. We can still trend. build yeah. the buildings green now and all of that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And also our show is about positiveness. You know, if we think about ESCOM and the power, what do we say? We say we, we pay a lot of money for electricity and oh, we've got a blackout. But do we know what they do? Do we know that they don't mine coal anymore? That they put up 55 wind turbines in, in uh, um, Dali? You know, they That's do right. huge things. Yeah. And yeah. we do that. We, we look for all those positive stories in South Africa. Absolutely. I mean, this is the other thing, just quickly, Michael. Things like water quality, air quality, etc. For every one bad story you hear about what's happening in the environment, there are 10 other successes. Mm. And the show is about making you feel good here in South Africa. And you're telling those stories, which is great. 100%. You've always been a consumer storyteller, Michelle. <laughs> what, what, what I love about you guys, though, is you also get very practical. You, you mm. kind of make it easy for the man at home. Because, I mean, how easy is it to go green at home? Really, really easy. This is the biggest misconception. People are mm. overwhelmed, going, oh, where do I begin? And it's a, because the field is so huge and so vast, you don't know where to begin. But literally, it is small steps that you can do. One of my favorite examples is waste management. I cannot bear the fact that we are, are losing holes in the ground to stuff our rubbish. So what our aim should be is to give the municipality a small shoebox size of waste per week. And there are five things that you can do at home and your office in wow. order to achieve that. And it's doable. Wow. I, I need to see it to believe it. That's, that's okay. phenomenal. And when would I see that, by the way? Let's give a punt to the show. Um, we are on a Sunday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on SABC3 okay. while the cricket is on. And I do believe by the 3rd of April, we revert to a 4.30 in the afternoon. Fantastic. Yeah. What's your biggest challenge to date, Rion? In terms of going green, I'm going green. I think uh, my getting off the grid. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that is, yeah, yeah. But building our biochromatic house. I think going off the grid was a huge challenge, mm. but it's done. It's working. We don't pay for electricity. We don't pay for lights. Everything is mm. now working. We struggled about four months to get it done. But I want to say to, to all of you that you know to start green, everybody can start right now to make an oath to me that they will never buy a plastic bag from any supermarket again, because oh, just wow. by doing that. No, but we're going to see all these plastic bags running around in South Africa. And you know, plastic doesn't degrade. They say that it takes like a hundred years, but we don't even know that. That's right. He's been around for a hundred years. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to stay that. But you know, over a period of time, is that all this plastic ends up in the ocean? It loses that colour, and turtles and dolphins and sharks think it's a meal, so they swallow it and gums up their digestive system. The animal dies. The body decomposes, but guess what? We now have a free plastic bag to go and kill one more time. So wow. just stop buying it, you know. Yeah. Keep fabric bags in the boot of your car. That's quite a challenge. I'm going to put that out to you all. Just listen to that. Don't buy another plastic bag. If you can afford it, well, you don't have to afford it. Just don't. What other bags should we use? I mean, we've got those sort of... Fabric bags, fabric yeah. Bag. yeah. Preferably, yeah. I mean, if you want to be, like, completely and totally green, go with a fabric bag that is a green fabric, like hemp, bamboo, something like that. Hemp is wonderful. It's very sturdy, very strong, yeah. um, durability. Brilliant. Yeah. Michelle Rion, thank you so much. Lovely to hear the passion mm. all about our planet. Guys, green line. And the book. Watch it. And, and the, the book. book. <gasps> Let's please Sneak talk about preview. the book. We've got a few seconds Sneak left. Preview. Yes. Fantastic. Um, it's going to be on shelf 1st of May. It's two mm -hmm. years worth of research. Brilliant. All the books available tell about America, Europe, but this is the first South African sustainable living book. So Michelle, we're very fantastic. proud. We're out of time. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much.